All right, YouTube, we're back at it. What I want to show you today is I've got a pretty significant oil leak that you can see kind of brewing right here. This is the FP Red, or I'm sorry, the just the FP Oil Line kit from Force Performance. And I had a leak here, and I thought it might have been the filter that was leaking, and it turns out it's the fitting that's leaking. And it's leaking in this little joint right here. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut this off here and try to put a new fitting on it. I did have an extra filter laying around. This is actually the new filter and I tried putting a new filter on thinking that maybe it was leaking out of these fittings here but it's not. It's actually in this joint. It's coming out of there. And I looked at this one too and it might have a small leak but it doesn't look that bad so I'm probably going to leave it for now. This one's going to be an easy one to replace. But this one's going to be a little bit more difficult. Just replacing the whole line is going to be difficult because it runs to the turbo and it's just a nightmare to get this oil line off with the turbo still in the car. So I'm just going to try to cut this fitting off and, and put a new, uh, a new fitting on it. Okay, and here is the fitting off of the car. Like I said before, it was leaking in this area here. So I'm assuming something on the inside here is not sealing uh, when you tighten this down. Um, it's just not getting a tight seal uh, back here. I mean, look, at I wiped this thing down and there's still a bunch of oil pouring out of it. Uh, so what I did to cut this off, and there's my line right there. I went ahead and brought it up to the top. What I used to cut it off was just a, I don't know how many inches that is, maybe a four or five inch side cutter. And I just uh, made a nice straight cut there. And um, it wasn't too difficult with these. Obviously, if the longer handle you have, the easier it'll be. Um, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't that difficult. Uh, if you uh, unless you're a sissy boy, you can cut it off. I thought I had to go down and get bolt cutters to be able to cut through this um, stainless braid here. But uh, I did have an extra an extra pair of stainless braid from another project I had laying around, and uh, I tested these side cutters on that and it cut straight through it and it was a nice clean cut so I figured I could do the same with this and sure enough it worked. So now we got to put a new fitting on there and here is the new fitting. This is a, a fitting that I just had laying around from a previous project and I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. So this is a dash four and it comes um, with everything you need pretty much it's got your uh, your little compression tool down here on the inside you need that and uh, we'll go ahead and get this assembled here and hopefully uh, this doesn't take too long the first thing you're gonna need to do is of course disassemble the fitting and then you're gonna take this back side here and you're gonna want to slide it over this because this actually gets tightened down um, this actually gets tightened down from the back side so this piece has to go on first and there we go it's on there and this won't focus there we go so now that's on there and now we can install this front portion and the compression piece here okay so the next thing you're gonna want to do is slide your compression ferrule down onto the um, the line here and you're going to want the inner lining the plastic inner lining PTFE lining to be inside and you want the braid to be on the outside of that compression ferrule okay so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to insert your fitting here this part here and you're just going to slide it in. Use a little, little uh, you can use some PB Blaster or some lube or um, a little bit of engine oil if you want. It definitely helps. But you're going to want to push it all the way in to where the, um, the threads here, it's very hard to focus, but the threads here, you basically want the fitting pressed all the way in on the hose. And then what we can do is we can slide up the back piece and then screw it. To the front part of the fitting here. All right, so there we go, and we just we'll just slide this back half down, 
and then we will engage it on the thread slowly, finger start it, and then uh, we can tighten it down all the way, and hopefully this won't leak anymore. And there is our finished product. So you can kind of see the gap between the back part of the fitting uh, here and the front part of the fitting here. And <clears throat> that's, uh, that's pretty snug. I don't know how tight you're actually supposed to get it. I don't know if you're supposed to tighten it down so this back piece is touching this, uh, this center section here or not. I'm not really sure. But this is pretty snug. I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot and uh, hopefully no more leaks. And there we go guys. All back together and buttoned up. And uh, I'll fire this up. And um, I'll double check it for leaks, obviously. And uh, hopefully we're good to go. Okay guys, well that did not fix the issue. It still was leaking. But now I had a leak in between the filter and... The new fitting here and it was actually leaking out of the threads and I think the reason why it was leaking out of the threads is because this housing is aluminum and this fitting is steel and I just don't think they work together that well because of the different metals so what I had to do and what you should never really have to do with an AN fitting is put um, Teflon paste on the fitting but once I put Teflon paste on here it stopped the leak in between the housing here and the fitting and now no more oil leak. I'll show you the Teflon paste real quick. And this is what I used. It's just a pipe thread compound TFE paste and I got it from Ace Hardware. You can get them from Lowe's, Ace, uh, probably even order it online. It's just Teflon paste instead of Teflon tape. Uh, so Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace, pick it up from there. Alright guys, that's it for now. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much.